Well, we couldn't get into the Druton Tunnel, but I found another tunnel. This is not the Sugarloaf. The Sugarloaf is behind the camera that way. And then we found this tunnel here. I didn't know it was here. I don't know what its name is. It's a very short one. As you can see, it's in quite good condition. It is fenced off. We can't get in. I'll turn the camera around and you can have a look. I'll just jump in here with the side-to-side -side map. What we're going to be looking at on this video is mainly the tunnel down here, which we'll go into in a moment. We'll also look at this portal here for the Druton Tunnel. And then we can access this tunnel because the eastern portal here is all penned in by farmers fencing we can't get through there all the air shafts are still in place on the Druton tunnel this end has become inaccessible the western portal and I'll show you that so I've made it to Druton tunnel you can see there's no getting in there all this down here is like a bog and I know because I went in it and that's my footprint so there's no getting in that side it's soft and I went down to my knees so there's no getting in this tunnel here at this end last video we walked through this tunnel here this is called the Weedley tunnel and it actually is called the Weedley tunnel it's not called the Sugarloaf tunnel for some reason the names of the Weedley Tunnel, which is there, and then over to the left is the Sugarloaf Tunnel. The names of these two have been swapped over. I'm more inclined to believe this map now. So we've looked at this tunnel here. I showed you some brief images of a bridge that's crossing here. Now, if we go down to the Sugarloaf Tunnel, I refer to this as a tunnel that I don't know the name of, but I do now. Please write in the comments what you think is going on with the names of these tunnels. All I can think is that there is a Sugarloaf Tunnel here, they're both the same length, 132 yards, and I just think the names have been swapped over time. This one is in remarkable condition. It is on a very steep embankment here. And the tunnel was originally going to be a cutting at one side. But this was so unstable that when they were cutting it out, it kept collapsing. So they did actually just make it into a tunnel and cover it up. And we also look at the eastern and western portal across the top. And then we join a footpath here. And we go along here and we have a look at this bridge that's intact here as well it's in a big cutting not as big as the cutting further back but this is a big old bridge and i thought it was definitely worth showing you and i'm pretty sure nobody else has shown you that before so please any comments regarding these tunnels and the names what's going on any ideas yeah, just write them down for me to read. I hope you enjoy the video. So it's the same design. We've got the keystone up there. Big plinths up there. I've got my pal up there. That's how big this is. This one is on a slight curve. It's in really good condition. You can see the courses of bricks around there. It looks the same design as um, the Barnsdale Tunnel. I've just popped you through the front so you can see that. It is on a slight curve. We've got some sleepers inside there. And we've got a refuge there. And you can see just how nice that one is. And then again, we've got the recessed brick line in there. Okay, stone at the top. I'll try and go up there and I'll take a shot from above and see what these stones look like up there. I've come up onto the embankment, our tunnel's just there and we've got these typical posts from the Holland Barnsley line and 
Now whilst it's not in great condition as you can see it is a lot better condition than where we've just been and then we've got an end post here got drainage there and on the top we have concrete we have blue brick and then here we go we have the back of the portal look at the size of this that thing there is humongous imagine getting that here this is what we're looking like at the back again a bit of water damage on it and then we'll peek over and that's our track bed down there now just looking across the top of one of these portals you've got the size of these bricks they are huge blue blue engineering brick rounded at either end but i've noticed a stamp on these bricks and what i can figure out is where the albion brick works wooden where, where wood and wary West Yorkshire there's another one there it's got a bit of boot on it but I think they're the two clearest ones so that's who produced your blue brick now I'm a little bit back from the tunnel entrance there that's the whole side but what's really strange about this is look at that embankment down there straight down goes down here and straight down there like that and then this continues to rise up and it's like they've built the tunnel here and then just buried it again when it would have probably been easier to potentially have done a cutting but with these estates because this is on estate property they, do, they didn't quite like railways running through the land so they would have stipulations saying yes you can build your railway but you must bury it put it in tunnels whatever else so that's maybe why there is three tunnels really close to each other and i don't know the name of this tunnel i will try and find out if i find out i'll put it up now if i don't please put it in the comments what it is it's not the Juton tunnel it's not the long one it's not the sugarloaf and it's right next to sugarloaf so we've got the other end here the other portal but at the top of the portal we've got more of the typical hull and barnsley railway fencing you can see what I was trying to explain on a, another video how it goes through and they're angled off and slotted up to each other and we've got one typically there simple easy and well it's been here for over a hundred years so it's not done too bad a job now we've got to quietly and carefully get around there and just see if we can get a shot of this portal as well here we are you can just see the size of these these are absolutely massive we'll have a look along the back i don't think i'm going to get down to track bed level we've got the top of the tunnel here these these things are huge absolutely massive i mean it's going to be seven foot tall as well as this these will be what five and a half foot tall here looking along there not too bad a condition and then if you look down over at the top there's your track bed and quickly go back to this side you can see my pal there and then there we are on the track bed that way see if I can get a better angle on that portal now I can't get any closer than this but this is the other portal it's not in too bad a condition I 
there you go. A little bit further down the line on the Holland Barnsley, behind me, you see uh, where the tunnel is that we've just filmed, we've just come from what I've just shown you, and in front of me, a public footpath crosses what would have been an old farm access. So I'll turn the camera on and I'll show you this. You've probably not seen this one before. So this bridge is actually massive. Now we can come in and we can pick up some detail on this. You can see the shape of that there, acting as a buttress to support it, the way they built it. And then we've got, at the bottom of the parapet there, we've got where the water runs off again. The course is a brick around the arch. And if I take you underneath this arch, you can still see soot. All underneath there. And we'll come over to this side. I'll just show you that. It's exactly the same. We've got the buttress supporting it. It is in poor condition. I'll move that in a bit closer so you can see. But then who has the money to maintain these things, whether they're on your land or not? Now I'm just going to point you down here because there is a brick there. Caved brick. More than likely to come off here somewhere. This side is covered in ivy. And then we'll go back down to this side here. There we go. I've got that. And I'll go back up top and I'll show you what we're looking at from the top. So I've come back on top of the bridge to show you what this is like. It is overgrown, but we again have these like sandstone sort of plants on the coping stones. We've got the same blue engineering brick, it's not rounded off though. Incredibly overgrown. This side being the worst. And we will have a look over there. That way is to Hull, and for the tunnel I've just shown you. That way to Barnsley. If we look across the top of these bricks, they are huge and they are rounded off at this side here. Across there. Covered in uh, sap from the trees above. No engineering marks on them, or company marks should I say. And just to finish this bridge off, we can see the condition of the bricks at this side, blasted off. Same in there. And as we come right to the end, we can see the coping stone, the brickwork there. And this side curls much more round to about here. But you just can't see anything of that. That is just completely lost to nature. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little short episode on this railway tunnel. Quite a surprise find. I didn't know it was here. I didn't know it existed. Definitely a tunnel, not a bridge. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.